हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हिरेन अमीन वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक्स्ट एंड नॉलेज हब टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ विविंग मशीन्स बट व्हाई दिस लर्निंग इज हेल्पफुल इन टू वेज टू स्टडी ओवरऑल प्रोग्रेस ऑफ विविंग एंड टू प्रेडिक्ट फ्यूचर डेवलपमेंट्स थ्रू आइडिया पिचिंग हिस्ट्री ऑफ विविंग मशीन्स कवर्स टाइम स्पान ऑफ न्यूलिथिक इरा टू मॉडर्न इरा एंड टुडे वी हैव वुडन हैंडलूम्स एज वेल एज मॉडर्न मेटालिक हाई स्पीड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक विविंग मशीन्स लाइक टोयोटा जे ए टी एट वन जीरो एरजेट लूम फ्रेंड्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट अबाउट विविंग हेरिटेज ऑफ इंडिया वुवन फैब्रिक प्रोडक्शन टेक्निक्स were known earlier around 7500 BC in India in ancient India both stitch and unstitch lengths of cotton and silk were used for draping around the body vedic literature contains many information regarding textile fabrics manufactured in this period vedic people had excellent knowledge of weaving the textile technology was highly developed in india india was the first nation where production of cotton fiber and manufacture of textiles had started india was highly skilled in making cotton fabrics like china for silk indian cotton fabric was prized for whiteness and fineness the manufacturing of cotton into cloth by tools is an ancient art in india friends reference of vedic literature is shown here which gives clear idea about spinning and weaving knowledge of ancient people friends with this basics let's start historical developments of weaving machines in earlier days woven fabric production was manual through wooden piece or wooden piece structure by hand roll of yarn or conventional shuttle was passed or thrown from one side to other for weft insertion for full width fabric production two workers were needed to pass the roll of yarn or conventional shuttle process was more time consuming less productive and with high labor demand examples of draw loom backstrap loom are shown here early industrial revolution in 1733 john k invented flying shuttle it was containing the thread passing the weft was possible with this wheel shuttle without the weaver having to come into contact with the shuttle at all it allowed a single weaver to weave much wider fabrics hence process became fast at each side of loom he provided a box for shuttle to rest temporarily between weft insertion in 1760 kiss and robert invented the drop box mechanism allowing weft change with additional shuttle box the first power loom powered by a drive shaft was designed in 1784 by edmund cartwright and first built in 1785 in 1789 g hattersley developed Hattersley standard loom and other types of loom in 1796 Robert Miller of Scotland took out a patent for an improved protector which stopped the loom altogether when the shuttle failed to enter its box in 1801 Joseph M Jacquard invented an attachment that was mounted above looms his so called jacquard mechanism could be mounted on any loom it controlled the lifting of the warp yarns and allowed the weaving machine to create complex patterns the loom was controlled by punch cards with punch holes in 1803 to 1813 messrs marsland and horrocks patented various improvements including the crank for operating the reed in 1867 G Hattersley and Sons created a loom with a derby head. 
to 1894, J. H. Northrop took out various patents for a loom in which the weft package in the shuttle was changed automatically when one was empty. 1895 saw the invention of the automatic punch change in the shuttle introduced by J. H. Northrop. 1900 Development of Dobbies for the Weaving Industry by Stobley. Now come on 20th century. Shuttle lace looms appeared in the mid 20th century and employed various systems grippers, rapier, and jets of water or air. 1922 Construction of the first Dobby with cam operating lifting knives by Stobley. 1924 Toyota automatic loom type G invented by Sakichi Toyota 1950 it is the introduction period of air jet and water jet looms 1957 to reduce further the number of weavers needed to supervise Lisona corporation's unifill winder was introduced to the european market 1963 the modern rapier loom was launched in 1963 by Donier of Germany 1980 Toyota JE type airjet loom production starts 1983 the first electronic jacquard was introduced at Itma Milan by Bonas Textile Machinery NV 1987 Stobley launch first electronically controlled jacquard machine cx860 2000 toyota lw600 series of water jet loom production starts in the 2020 advanced level rapier water jet air jet weaving machines are available in the market as an example picanol offers gt max i 3.0 terry max i rapier weaving machines in airjet omni plus and terry plus models are also offered by picanol modern high speed weaving machines are also offered by shudakoma like zw8100 water jet loom zax9200 i airjet loom and ZAX 9200i Terry Airjet Loom Let's take one case study related to development of weaving machines Actually it is the success story of Mr Sakichi Toyoda Japanese inventor and industrialist Sakichi received his first patent for his loom in 1891 His Toda wooden handloom required only one hand to operate instead of two. It increased efficiency by 40 to 50 percent. In 1896, the Toda power loom, Japan's first power loom built of steel and wood, was perfected. The shading, picking, and beat-up motions were all steam powered. It was also equipped with the weft auto stop mechanism the machine was relatively inexpensive and greatly increased productivity and quality in 1903 sakichi invented the first automatic shuttle changing mechanism that automatically replace the weft yarn without stopping machine operation producing the world's first shuttle change automatic loom type t equipped with this mechanism in 1924 the non stop shuttle change toda automatic loom type g was completed the automatic shuttle changing mechanism fitted to this loom enabled automatic shuttle replacement and supplying weft yarn without any loss of speed during high speed operation other features included a shuttle change guide weft brake auto stop warp brake auto stop and other devices to provide automation protection health and safety this loom delivered the world's top performance in terms of productivity and textile quality this was the success story of sakichi toyoda
the founder of Toyota Industries Corporation. Friends, in our next learning module W3, we will learn two points, comparative analysis of weaving machines and types of weaving machine. If you like it, you can subscribe this channel for new updates. You can also post your comments for any query or suggestion if you have. You can also share technical details to enrich this module. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.